U.S. anti-doping agency says that Lance Armstrong has an extensive history on doping. Armstrong denies ever doping. However, his teammates from the U.S. Postal Service team admit their own doping and say Armstrong was a proponent who used and administered the doping drugs. The agency has more than a thousand papers in the file against the athlete. Armstrong is a seven-time Tour de France winner and a cancer survivor. It's likely that Jerry Sandusky will be spending the rest of his life in jail. Sandusky was sentenced yesterday for sexually assaulting 10 boys over 15 years. Judge John Cleland sentenced Sandusky to 30 to 60 years in prison. Sandusky will be 98 years old when he becomes eligible for parole. Cleland called Sandusky dangerous, saying he abused the trust of children. The Supreme Court is struggling today with racial preferences used by the University of Texas. In Fisher v. University of Texas, Abigail Fisher claims she was denied admission to UT's Austin campus because she was white. UT admits that one of their goals is to increase the percentage of minority students on campus. Because the case could produce new limits on affirmative action or roll it back entirely, the admissions programs nationwide will be influenced by high court decision. And those are your headlines.